guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. Today, you read the title right, we are going to be making a salad, but I promise it's not a boring, nasty salad. I personally really don't like salad unless it's actual good dressing and like a hearty, good quality salad. I don't really eat salad that often unless it's one that's as good as this. So this salad recipe is actually inspired by one that is in my cookbook, Liv B's Vegan on a Budget. If you don't have it yet, I will put a link below if you wanna grab a copy. So I kind of forgot about this until literally two days ago when Greg's sister Madison um, made it with her roommates and she messaged me just being like, I'm so obsessed with this, this is like the best salad ever. And I was like, oh yeah, that one is really good. So it's the sweet potato salad with spiced maple dressing. So we're going to be making it a little bit differently. We're gonna be making a couple little substitutions, like we're gonna use butternut squash instead of sweet potato, just because it's fall and squash is, you know, the fall vibe. We're also gonna be making vegan chicken to slice and put on top. It's my seitan chicken, it's just the best thing ever. So the salad's gonna be really hearty, really good. That is everything I have to say for now, so let's get into it. So we're going to start off by making the seitan chicken and if you're using a different type of protein you can skip this part but to make the seitan you want to add a cup of vital wheat gluten followed by two tablespoons of nutritional yeast or chickpea flour a little bit of salt and pepper and then a cup of vegan chicken style broth I've made this in many different forms on this channel, so you guys probably know this recipe by now, but it's honestly basically the reason I have an Instant Pot. It's just the easiest recipe ever. I love how good it tastes. It really does taste like chicken to me. I mean, I'm sure the texture is a little different, but it's a great chicken substitute for me, so you just wanna mix that until there are no dry spots. And then you can pour the remaining broth into your Instant Pot and break the chicken into six pieces flatten them a little bit and then put them into your Instant Pot. Then you just want to cook that on manual for about 15 minutes. This is a butternut squash, but you can use any type of squash that is available to you, or you can use sweet potato like I do in the book recipe. Then you want to place that on a parchment lined baking sheet and drizzle it with oil and salt and pepper. Then you want to bake that in your preheated oven at 425 degrees for 15 minutes. Once the seitan is done, you can just remove it from the pot with a slotted spoon or a fork, dump it into the breading mixture, which is a mixture of flour, paprika, salt, and pepper, and coat each piece in the flour mixture. And then you can just push the butternut squash to the side and place those on the pan. You will have six uh, seitan pieces. I just did four here because I didn't need all six at once, but you can do them all if you want um, onto the pan since we do have six. Totally your call. And then you just want to drizzle those with some oil and put that back in the oven for 20 minutes, flipping halfway through until the seitan is nice and golden brown and the squash is fork tender. To make the dressing, you want to combine the olive oil, maple syrup, lemon juice, Dijon mustard, ground ginger, and cinnamon, and a little pinch of salt. And then you can just whisk that until it is combined and set that aside. So then in the meantime, you can just add your greens to the bowl. Normally I would use baby spinach, but I got this from a local farmer's market, so it was like 
the big leaf spinach. <laughs> so I just broke it up with my hands into the bowl. And then I added in the pea shoots. And you could also do this with arugula as well. Um, and then I added in the green onion, the dried cranberries, the sunflower seeds, and then I coated that in the dressing before adding the squash just to get everything nice and coated. And then I added the cooked squash. And just tossed that up to make sure everything was combined. Then I just put that into a big salad serving bowl and I sliced the chicken and put that on top and that is it. So it is a few steps, I'm aware, but it is so good. I know you guys are gonna love it. And if you don't want to use the seitan, you can do the same kind of baking method with tofu or you, know, you can put anything on top that you like. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Definitely try it out. Okay guys, so like I said, this salad is honestly so good. I really did forget how good it was, but I'm gonna do a taste test. Um, I've made this before by itself, but not the chicken on top, so. That was a huge bite. Um, okay, seriously, so good. I definitely recommend if you're eating this for a meal, like add the protein on top. You can do this, you can do the same thing with tofu. You could do like air fried tofu. You could do vegan chicken fingers that you buy from the store. What else could you do? Anything, falafel. Like any type of protein on top of this will make it an amazing meal. Otherwise, by itself without the protein, it's probably just more like a side because it's not that filling, but the flavors are incredible. It tastes so, so good. And I know you guys are gonna love it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you try out this recipe. And if you do, make sure to take a photo and tag me on Instagram. I'm at it's Lib B. Like I said, I will put a link below to check out my cookbook, Lib B's Vegan on a Budget. You can get it at pretty much all bookstores on Amazon, all of that. That is everything for me today. Thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.